tonight we are sleeping in the deepest this is so crazy darkest <laughs> oldest hotel room in the world it shakes so much completely alone in this cave 220 feet below ground we are karen nate and we traveled the world full-time for four years visiting 100 countries but 2020 brought us back to the U.S. where we bought our first home, a converted Sprinter van. We this own a house! Is. If you missed last week's video, we canceled the rest of our Pacific Coast Highway road trip due to new travel advisories on the West Coast. We're urging everyone to stay home. And we took this as a sign that it was time to head home for the holidays. I feel like I've been transported back in time 50 years. We are 20 hours into this crazy road trip, but we'll catch you up on that next week because this place deserves a video all to itself. On the outside, it looks like just another quirky hotel on Route 66, but as the name suggests, there is actually a cave underneath this motel. They run tours through it during the day, but at night after the last tourist leaves, they rent out what they claim to be the deepest, darkest motel room in the world. 220 feet below ground and we have the cave all to ourselves. We've had the opportunity to stay in some pretty unique places over the last few years, but this might just be the craziest. So when I booked this place, I did not realize I was signing up to sleep in a haunted cave, but. Oh, paranormal activity. Oh man. The five o'clock tour, the one that we're going down on is a ghost tour. And then we have to sleep in the cave the whole night. You're gonna get a ghost meter. If you feel like there's a ghost around you, take your flashlight, you're gonna do a complete 360. If that meter doesn't move, there's nothing around you. You guys ready? Wow. <laughs> now, we are descending down 210 feet or 21 stories below the surface or 64 meters. Oh my gosh. <laughs> totally dark in here. You cannot see the hand in front of your face. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, we're going this way. Okay, if I act really strange because there's a ghost around me, you know what? There is one here and I'm going to shoot a picture. I really hope a ghost doesn't show up in this picture. <laughs> because we have to sleep down here. <laughs> <gasps> That's our sweet. That's where we're sleeping tonight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and there's a voice in there that says Jenna. What? Uh-huh. So this is where we think we see the ghost. And that's where we're sleeping. Right. And you have controls of all the lights in your suite. It does get totally dark in here. You cannot see the hand in front of your face. Go ahead and shut your lights off, folks. Look how dark it gets in here. Okay. Shut your light off. There you go. <laughs> this is what it's going to be like when you guys are in the Catherine suite. So this is your option. It's either you can have your lights on or off. I think my heart would escape the beat. You. You're more than welcome. I'll get the lights on for you guys as well. Appreciate it. Well, that was a very interesting introduction to our home for the night. My dad's always said, I don't believe in ghosts, but I'm scared of them. I think that's how I feel as well. So I'm just going to try to not think about that anymore. All right, we got our stuff and we're about to move in or move down. <laughs> All right, down in the light this time. <laughs> so we're going to be alone down in the cave tonight, but Chris is going to be up top. He's the, the keeper of the cave. Keeper of the cave, what's up guys? I'm Chris and we're dropping 210 feet underground right now. So if anything uh, goes wrong, we have an emergency phone and we can give them a call. How often does that happen? Uh, who's asking? <laughs> the temperatures stay relatively stable between, you know, 56 and 62 degrees year round. This is awesome. It looks so much bigger. So before we move in for the night, Chris is gonna give us a tour around the cave. Completely different experience with the lights on. <laughs> 
A dazzling place I never knew. Formations would have began a couple hundred million years ago during the Mississippian era. This would have been underwater. Yeah, it does look like coral. So it's our largest cavern, 630 feet from one side to the other. All these supplies were actually brought down here in the early 60s. Uh, we were in the Cold War at the time, Cuban Missile Crisis, and President Kennedy would have deemed a handful of the cave systems in North America as a nuclear fallout shelter in case we got nuked. So here we're looking at supplies the last 2,000 people two weeks, allegedly. Good luck. <laughs> hey, not happening. Oh my god. <laughs> not crazy appetizing, but... Oh, cheers! <laughs> we are eating 60-year-old crackers right now. <laughs> oh. Oh, that's bad. It's so stale. Hopefully we never have to hide out in here. Oh, do I have to finish it? You try it. Hmm. <laughs> All the saliva has gone from my mouth. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe I'm eating a ration from the Cold War. Yes. I am eating history. So this is a dry cave and only 3% of caves in the entire world are dry caves. So there's almost no humidity in here. And because of that, things get preserved really well. So that bobcat that you could still see the whiskers on was almost 200 years old. This helps give you some appreciation for just how big this place is. Cavern sweet. If you're crazy enough like you two, maybe <laughs> some people want to rent the place out, so. That looks so cool. I love it. I like the little dog. Rocky the Rockweiler. Oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> yeah, the red seats on the stage were donated from the American Film Institute in Hollywood. <laughs> you got rolling in the deep down or, a, or, a, oh, or, a, or someone like you, someone like you. Oh, okay. Have I missed the beginning? <laughs> It'll loop right back around. Okay. I heard that you'll settle down. Good night. Cave is all yours. <laughs> Enjoy. See you in the morning. Oh yeah. Good night. Time to party. <laughs> Woo! Got this whole place to ourselves. This feels. Hey. Oh. <sighs> we are now the only people in this cave and will be until tomorrow morning. Not just the only people, the only living organisms. Because it's a dry cave and there's like no humidity, nothing can live down here. Nothing can survive, there's Except nothing to eat. <laughs> for us for a night. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give you a full tour of the oldest, deepest, darkest, largest, quietest motel room on the planet. The walls are 65 million years old. We are 220 feet below the surface. It's 155 feet wide by 400 feet long and 75 feet tall. I'd say this is the biggest hotel room I've ever stayed in. So this is our bedroom. We have two queen beds and a futon. Now, it's not cheap to rent an entire cave. We paid $1,000 for one night in the suite. But if you had some friends that you could split it with, we probably should have invited some friends. Over here. I think that this is the most important part of the entire suite because have I mentioned that we're 220 feet below ground? This telephone is our only connection to the outside world if something were to go wrong. And over here, this is our lovely living room area and I love what the owners have done here because they could have easily just put two beds and been like, you're sleeping in a cave, and that would have been cool enough. But they've added so many little touches that just make it extra special. 1930, 1930. Like, they have all of these super old National Geographic magazines. This book is almost 100 years old. The Watch of Railroad Accuracy. For some reason, I love seeing the old ads. Yeah, I'm honestly not a huge reader, but I just wanna sit here and read all of these books. And we have this giant TV with about 100 movies to choose from, most of them being horror films, which we will not be watching in this haunted cave. I swear I just saw something. Don't say that. Oh, you know what I think it was? <laughs> There's like lights lining the, the steps to the top and there was like a bar and when I like moved, the lights went behind the bar and I thought I saw like movement. I, I think it was just the light. <laughs> <laughs>
my heart honestly skipped a beat. <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> well, I was just like trying not to think about all that haunted stuff that guy told us. <laughs> yeah, so we're not watching a scary movie tonight. We're gonna be using that phone soon. <laughs> We also have a bunch of board games, a chess board, and this is our dining room table where they've left us lots of sweet and salty snacks. Plus, we have a kitchen. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little bit nervous. I thought there was no way I was gonna get my morning cup of joe in a cave, which is why I was so excited when I saw this coffee pot. They've also given us a bottle of wine to enjoy. We have a sink and a microwave and a fridge that they've stocked with drinks and breakfast for the morning. And behind this wall, and behind this entertainment system, we have a bathroom with these awesome saloon doors. Sink with running water, this marine toilet that you just use like a regular toilet and then use this whoop, pedal to flush. A full shower with soaps, full-length mirror, towels, everything we need. And that is the suite. It is seriously incredible. And our room backs up to this concert area that they just finished building. They're gonna start having musicians come down here and play because this natural arch of the cave apparently produces the most beautiful acoustics imaginable. Which is probably why I sounded so good earlier. <laughs> Someone like you. The other thing that I love about this place is I had a feeling when they left they were gonna give us all the rules for the night and tell us not to leave the suite for our own safety, but we are free to explore this entire cave. There's no rules! There's no rules! There's no rules! Put your shirt back on! There's one rule! So back in 1927, there was this guy named Walter and he was riding his horse to go play poker. And all of a sudden his horse stopped at this giant nine foot wide hole. And when Walter got off and looked, it was just darkness and he had to know what was down there. So his buddies lowered him in and long story short, he discovered this cave. That's why I'm climbing, get up here. So this is the original entrance to the cave. The same hole that Walter lowered himself into, once tourists started coming, they built this giant ladder swinging bridge thing, all made from scaffolding from the Hoover Dam. And we're gonna climb it, because we can. Wow, that looks super sketchy. <laughs> oh my gosh, <laughs> I hate this. It does not sound very stable. Stop, Nate. I'm climbing on wood. That was used during the construction of the Hoover Dam. Uh, 100 feet above the floor of a cave. Okay. I think that's it. The original entrance. But they've boarded it off now so no one can come down and visit us in the night. Which I appreciate. Mm -hmm. This is just nuts. Like, the fact that we're here and we're alone. Like, I feel like we're breaking the rules right now. I love it! It shakes so much. <laughs> it is just such a different feeling being in here alone. Ghost. Stop saying that. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So if you don't actually wanna spend the night in the cave, you can at least come have dinner down here and get a little bit of a feel for what it's like. And you could just come see it, but there's something different about doing something so comfortable in such a... Crazy place. Yeah. It's just the contrast of being in a cave, but having dinner at a table with a white tablecloth. <laughs> we tried. <We'll> practice. <laughs> this is nice. Mm -hmm. I can't remember if it can go backwards. I think it can go anywhere. I feel like you don't actually kill the king, just get him in checkmate. I think these can go one in mm. direction. What if we don't play this and read the cool books? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Good idea. Good game. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. 
fonts have not changed that much. Mm -mm. That's pretty crazy. Whew. I don't know where the night went, but it's already 1 a.m. We've been told that this breaker turns out all the lights in the cave except for the lights in our bedroom. <laughs> wow. Look at how our bedroom's just glowing. <laughs> so fast. This is awesome. I feel like the record player going makes it seem like almost creepy. <laughs> is this off? Yeah, it's cold in the cave. Getting darker. All right. I'll see your face for a long time. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when I hit the switch, it's going to be complete darkness. Whoa. Except for the TV light. <laughs> A few little red lights from the electronics, but it's so quiet. My ears are ringing. And like when I swallow, it's so loud. Mm -hmm. Or even when I breathe. Good night. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Sorry, I kissed your nose. <laughs> it's hard to find your face. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to admit this, but I'm a grown man. We slept with a light on last night. How'd you sleep? Great. Really? Yeah. It's 7.30, but it still feels like the middle of the night. <laughs> so crazy. Well, I don't like this at all. It's so dark. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. I think I would have slept better if we wouldn't have gone on the ghost tour before sleeping down here. The silence was just intense, and I felt like I was just laying there listening for any little sound. I just kept telling myself, you're a grown-up, you're a grown-up, you're a grown-up. I didn't wake up a single time. <laughs> I opened my eyes and thought it was the middle of the night when you were making coffee, and I was so confused. First cave tour of the day just started. Goodbye, cave suite. It is now 11 a.m. We got down here at 5 p.m. last night, which means we have now been living in a cave for 18 hours. It's time to go back up to the surface. Back to the real world. Thanks for coming back for us, Chris. Oh yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you guys a whole lot for stopping by, taking the time to hop off the interstate. <laughs> Seriously, people like you, why we're able to keep the doors open. It feels <laughs> weird seeing the daylight. <laughs> I wonder what we missed the last 18 hours. Oh, it's so bright. Oh, my eyes! <laughs> my eyes! I'm not kidding, my eyes actually like are in pain right now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Should we buy this one? Yeah. Think <laughs> Drive we can it back. It behind the van? You think we'll just do a fair trade? The van for <laughs> this car? How good would this be to drive home? Look at the teeny tiny windshield wipers. 
<laughs> you look good in that car. Right? Do you think I can get in it? The dash is literally made of wood. Are you supposed to be in there? Oh, <laughs> I feel like there are no rules here. And it might be haunted. We may not actually be alone. Quit that. There's some uh, souvenir oh. Grand Canyon Caverns waters that were brought down here. They are expired. I drink them all the time, they taste fine. And from the internet, no, interest. <laughs> they didn't have internet. <laughs> the guestbook does say that paranormal activity has happened during the night to lots of people. Stop that. I read a bunch Stop of that. reviews. Stop that. <laughs> Why the environment too dark? Visual positioning inaccurate. Fly with caution. Unable to take off. Okay. GPS signal low. That makes sense. They didn't cover flying inside of a cave on the exam that I took. <laughs> give myself less than a 50% chance of not crashing this thing. Good job, little buddy. All right, we're going on an adventure into the mystery room. I don't think Birkenstocks were made for spelunking. <laughs> okay, here's the last guy that tried to go down in Birkenstocks. <laughs> He even had a headlamp. Uh-huh. This is sweet. Yeah. The last light in the cave right there is this red one. Oh no! This is some uh, serious exploring. Okay. It's getting a little tight. This is so crazy. Can you make it? Yeah. Yeah, pretty insane. So crazy, but just that this exists is yeah, amazing. Now we know about it, yeah. You really undersold that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah let's go further back. Yeah. Uh -huh. Best twinkle twinkle I've ever played. <laughs> That's on the other side now. Okay, now I'm gonna sing Adele. Y'all really went for it. I thought that was gonna be like the first 30 seconds of the that song. That was like my dream come true. <laughs> oh, yeah, like yeah, getting yeah. to perform with no one, I guess there's like a lot of people watching on YouTube. I'm impressed on all fronts. <laughs> I didn't think I had that in me either. I, I yeah. lost it in a couple points. I was like, where am I? Where am I? Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was even saying the right words. I was like, I'll figure it out. You kept me going. That's good. <laughs> I've been practicing my Adele singing. I can tell. I can tell.